Greetings and salutations. Welcome to question two of the level one 2019 mechanics exam paper. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, we are looking at a very typical pressure question. OK, so you can that the typical type of pressure question is to do with footprint is to do with, um, you know, how you leave a mark with your dining table chairs on carpet. You leave a, um, um, footprints in snow or in sand. And those are your typical type of pressure questions. Uh, so they're not very difficult. They're very, very um, standard sort of questions. So let's have a look at this um, 2019's exam. So the first question they ask you to do is to look at the um, pressure defined as a force exerted divided by surface, surface contact area. So on, using this pressure definition, explain how it applies to the adult standing in the sand. So it's literally asking you that what is pressure and they gave you the answer right here. So what it means, how it applies to the adult standing in the sand. So if, if a person is standing in the sand and then that person sinks into the sand, that's because pressure is force over a certain area. So all you need to say is that the person has weight force and that weight force is distributed over the area of that person's feet. And that is enough for this particular question. Okay, so achieved nothing really difficult. Uh, so here's the answer if you want to have a look. So the adult has a weight force that's adding. So it's very straightforward. Pressure is created as adult's weight is spread over a surface area. Okay, next part. The surface area one of the adult's footprint is 200 centimeter um, squared. And we want this, we want the meter squared and the child footprint is this. And then the adult has a weight of 690 Newtons. Now, something that I've um, trained my year 11s and hopefully they can remember this is to understand what the numbers mean. OK, so the num any number in science, most numbers like except pH or, you know, if you level two, level three, you're looking at KC and KAs and all, all those sort of things. Most numbers in science need to have a unit because a unit a, a number without a unit doesn't mean anything. So when we look at 0 0.02 meters squared, this is the surface area of the adult's feet. This is the first, uh, sorry, foot, one foot. This is the surface area of one foot of a child and the weight force. So this is the weight force of the 690 Newtons. So that is the weight of the adult. Again, similar to question one, they've been very generous to show the total pressure is one. Uh, 17,250 Pascal. So the answer is supposed to be 7,250. So don't get that wrong. If it, your answer, the final answer, it doesn't equal to that number, then you made a mistake somewhere. So pressure equals force divided by area. Now, it's really important now, I'll just go back to the equation sheet here. So it's really important that you don't get confused with pressure equals force divided by area and power equals work divided by time. So these two P's mean two, two different things. One is pressure, one is power. OK, so let's come back to our work, to, um, work to question here. Where are we? There we are. OK, so we look at the adult. So don't calc, don't use a child's footprint. OK, so let's substitute numbers in. So we don't know. We calculate the pressure. We don't know pressure. So that means we should know weight force. We should know the area. Otherwise, you can't do this question. You have to know two things out of three. Otherwise, you can't do it. So what is the weight force of the person? The weight force is given is 690 Newtons. Now, sometimes it will give you the mass. Just remember, if you give you if they give you the mass in kilograms, you can easily convert this to the weight force the weight force, which is in Newtons. So and how do you do that times by 10? And how do you go backwards divided by 10? So in this case, it gave you the Newtons already. Don't do anything to it. OK, now here's a tricky part. 690 divided by the area of the of, um, of the adult's foot. One foot is 0 0.02 and the foot diagram showed two footprints. So that means the person is a normal person, has two feet. So you need to multiply by two. OK, and then if you do this calculation, then you get 172.50 Pascal. And that is a very, very easy 
mirrored okay so make sure you remember here's a tricky part two feet and then once you've done that we are done with this particular question okay so let's move on to the next part so the next part explain show how the footprint are the same depth although the mass of the child is smaller so same depth means same pressure so what that means if we look at the the pressure of the let's say the adult this a stands for adult the pressure of the adult equals the weight force of the adult divided by the area of the adult which equals to the so because we're saying it's the same depth so the pressure amount is the same so if we look at the pressure of the child is calculated by the force of the child divided by the area of the child and we know the adult pressure and the child pressure are the same value so that means the force divided by area for this question is the same divided by, uh, of this force divided by this area so think about you know an adult versus a child the, per, the adult will have larger weight force because it, you know he or she weighs more and then normally the adult would have larger feet so they have larger surface area so in comparison the person the child have smaller force smaller weight distributed over a smaller area so it's kind of like if you if you're okay with math you should be able to do, like say i just give you um just if i just use numbers to give an example like say i'm just going to assume this let's say if i use if the force of the person uh, if the weight force of the person is 600 divided by 60 isn't that the same thing as 100 divided by 10 like i'm just giving you like a really really made up um, answer, uh, example off the top of my head that's going to equal to 10 that's going to equal to 10 okay so because the the weight force yes the person has a the, the adult has a larger weight force but that weight force is distributed over a larger area so you end up having the same amount of pressure so how do you word that so you can refer to the nca exam answers marking schedule so pressure is the force I tend to say you know there's a force applied over the surface area so because it's the same depth because uh, so it's the same depth the same sink into the same distance that means they have the same pressure this is because the child has a smaller you can just say it has a smaller surface area and it has a smaller weight force that means um, so you know therefore they have the same amount of pressure okay so the answer is worded a little bit differently so but as long as you get the idea is that the if the if we go back to what the question was asking us include the discussion on pressure surface area and mass so you just need to understand yes the adult has larger weight but then he also or she has larger feet therefore um, somehow ended up having the same amount of pressure as a smaller child because that smaller child has smaller mass, smaller weight and smaller area and then ended up having the same amount of pressure. Okay, so this is an excellent question which is quite easy. Um, pressure questions tend to be quite straightforward. Okay, next one. Both the adults and the child's footprint are the same depth. So we already did this just now. And they want you to calculate the mass of the child. Now, this is where a lot of people start to freak out a little bit. Because the shorter the questions are, the less clues you get. And the most important thing you need to understand is that you need to use some of the answers that you got previously and as a marker um, or you know sometimes i write you know exams as well not not for nca obviously but you know it's really important they can't punish you for the same mistake twice this is why just going through a bit of the logic of writing exams this is why in this question they told you the adults foot um, the adults exert 17,250 pascals of pressure because you have to use the same number here. So if you didn't know what it was before, 
and like say if you calculated part A or oh, sorry part B incorrectly and then you carry it on to use the incorrect answer they cannot punish you twice okay so this is where they start using you know show the answers so they can keep using the same number making sure that everyone is on the same level um, on the le on the same level when they do the next question so you need to if you're missing a clue for your calculations like because you know with all of these equations that we get we provide you you will always be given two of them and you need to figure out the third one now there are some exceptions uh no there are no exceptions you always know two of them i was, um, I was thinking ek mv squared you always know two of them you need to figure out the third letter if you're missing one if you if you have one you don't know one and then you still can't find the other letter that means you probably missed it in the previous question so you know in, in my case scroll up the computer screen and have a look or you can just have a look at the previous questions that you just did and you might need to use some of the clues that you got given in the previous questions okay so that's a really really important part, uh, important part for mechanics um, because that's what a lot of people just give up with because um, they see the numbers like I don't know what one of the numbers I don't even know what equation to use and then if you know what equation to use and like hold on I'm missing a number I don't know what to do okay so Let's come back to this. So we know pressure equals force divided by area. We know the child and the adult had the same pressure. So we inherited this particular answer from part B. So we know pressure equals 17,250. We don't know the mass of the child, so we don't know the weight of the child, but we know the area of the child. So let's go back to the previous question. So there we go, 0 0.0150. So the area is 0. 150 meter squared again this is one foot okay so let's substitute numbers in so it'll be 17 to 50 equals the weight force divided by 0 0.0150 times 2 because the child has two feet and then you will get 17 to 50 equals um, f divided by 0. 0, 3 and then we need to for those of you that don't know how to do this mathematical equation you move that to the other side because you want to make f the subject so it'll be 17 to 50 times 0 0.03 and that will give you um, that will give you uh, what is the answer here let me try to quickly do this in my head it will be 117.5 newtons okay so one five sorry five one eight newtons if you round to three significant figures okay now that's not the answer because they want to know what the mass is so this is in newtons this is a weight force so let's just continue it will be 518 newtons divided by 10 like i mentioned before if you want to go from mass to um, newtons you times by 10 if you go the other way you divide it by 10 so this is your final answer okay so this is also an excellent question if you can do the calculations properly okay so that's a very because you're doing three steps um, the area counts as one step the whole p equals divided by a counts as one step and then this more just divided by 10 counts as one step it's three steps for an um, for an excellence okay last one the adult's weight does 21 joules of work calculate the distance so again if you know the equation sheet by heart you again you don't need to um, i do but um, if you go work equals force times distance this is on the equation sheet so again we just you just need to figure out what you got so 21 joules so i already told you this is work i don't know the distance so what is the weight force so this is something that again you need to go back to the previous question because we are looking at the adults weight force so if we substitute that then so let's just write the clues down the work equals 21 joules what is the weight force of the person the weight force that's in part b of the question is 690 newton so if you didn't know where that was just quickly scroll up um, and I'm going to rub out some of these so you can see it clearly. And 
voila, here it is. The adult has a weight of 619 newtons. Okay, so that's a very, very important clue. And we're going to come back into this. So D, so let's make D the subject. D equals work divided by force. So that'll be 21 divided by 690. And that will give you 0 0.034. Remember, the unit is in meters. So the person, the adult stood on sand and sank three centimeters. That's about right. OK, so this is again, you need to make sure you have units without units. It's not an ink. That's not a complete answer. So just with the pressure question, remember, we are dealing with. So sometimes they give you questions about elephants, horses, people, people on skis, people on snowboard, people wearing shoes. You need to think about how many feet we are looking at. You need to think about how many skis people are skiing with. And normally they give you diagrams for those. Make sure you use a correct unit. Um, or if you're just aiming for achieved, guys, at least do one step of the calculation correct. OK, um, so hopefully this is helpful and um, we are going to move on to question three of this particular standard. And I'll see you guys a bit later. Bye bye.